The FA-1 air filtration system from Fumex. No comparably priced machine is as efficient, as cost effective, or as easy to maintain. The FA-1 gives customers three key advantages. One, a bright, easy to use display provides real-time user interface and operational feedback with filter alerts. Two, the FA-1's top loading system makes filter changing as easy as pulling out the old and dropping in the new. And three, independent filter design allows for lowest operational cost. Let's begin by reviewing the functions of the front display. The machine's on-off switch is located here. Adjacent to it is the blower control and readout, which permits adjusting to any of three speeds as indicated by these green lights. At initial startup, these same green lights also serve to indicate that the unit is operating. The remaining two indicators provide filter status. Next, let's detail the FA-1's filter configuration. The FA-1 has three filters. From top to bottom they are the pre-filter, the HEPA filter, and the gas odor filter. All three filters are constantly monitored for proper functionality, as indicated by the pair of aforementioned filter indicators. When the change filter indicator's red lights illuminate, they indicate that either the pre-filter or the HEPA filter needs changing. The change gas filter red lights indicate a change is necessary for the gas odor filter. So, let's detail the recommended procedures when either of these filter indicators turns on. The change filter lights indicate that either the pre-filter or the HEPA filter has reached capacity. Very rarely does it mean that both filters will need changing. In most applications, the pre-filter captures the majority of the particulates and therefore is most frequently changed. In typical applications, operators can expect to use three to four pre-filters to every HEPA filter. So we'll now address pre-filter maintenance. Before performing any maintenance on the FA-1, make sure it's turned off. To replace the machine's pre-filter, just lift out the old one and set it aside. Do not immediately discard it, however, until you can be certain it is in fact the pre-filter that has reached capacity. Next, simply drop in a new pre-filter. Now line up the filter inlet with the inlet on the bottom of the machine's lid. Lightly press down for a proper fit and then latch the lid. Restart the machine and check the change filter indicator. If after 10 or 15 seconds the red lights have not come back on, then changing the pre-filter was the correct step. However, if the red lights do quickly return, then you know the HEPA filter was actually the filter that needed changing. So let's move on to HEPA filter maintenance. If the middle filter, the HEPA, has reached capacity, then turn off the machine and remove the new pre-filter and save it for later. Pull out the old HEPA and set it aside. Take a fresh HEPA filter and making sure to position it gasket side down, gently place it on top of the green gas odor filter. Now, knowing it still has service life remaining, take that pre-filter you had initially removed and line it inlet to inlet and secure the lid. Turn on the machine and check the change filter indicator to make sure both the pre and HEPA filters are now performing normally. Now let's move on to gas odor filter maintenance. If the change gas filter begins to flash its red lights, then the time has come to change out the gas odor filter. After removing both the pre and HEPA filters, simply lift out the full green gas odor filter, setting it aside for disposal. Then making sure the rubber gasket side of the fresh gas odor filter is facing down, place it in the FA-1. Take the HEPA and pre-filters and reposition them back in the FA-1 as described earlier and secure the lid. Turn on the machine and check the change gas filter indicator to make sure the red lights do not reappear. Bottom line, as long as spare filters are kept in stock, the FA-1 can provide almost continuous service. Thank you for your kind attention.